Hey there, this is Freddie with LeviathanScuba.com. In a sea of sea scooters, many to choose from, I think I found my favorite. We'll get to that in just a minute. We have had one heck of a week here at Demon. You know, there are a bunch of sea scooters out there. There really are. And there are some very professional ones that cost tens of thousands of dollars. I have to confess, I haven't tried those yet. <laughs> so I can't say this is my favorite yet. But for the recreational diver, the more affordable side of uh, uh, scooters, so far, this is my favorite. I've actually played with it. This is the discovery video, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the features and all, but it's not the full review. We're getting ready to take this on a couple of trips. Uh, we have a number of divers that are bringing theirs that are going with us to the British Virgin Islands, and uh, that's gonna be a fun trip. That's on a sailboat, so I'll get some good footage there. But we've actually used it in the pool. I've taken it on one dive trip in the past. We're also gonna take it to St. Eustatius and uh, you know, put it through its paces. So the first thing I wanna say is the, the name of this one, they have a couple of them that are similar designs. <clears throat> Subblue is the company. This is the Nav Bow, right? Comes in red and comes in green. Has three different uh, speeds underneath it. It has a turbo mode, a regular mode, and I think what they call normal and uh, it's very, very powerful. The battery uh, is gonna, we're gonna put it through its bases to tell you exactly what it will do. I know in turbo mode, it's pretty low. It's gonna be like 20 minutes, something like that. We've also even towed other divers with this thing. I towed two other divers, so three total. I put it in turbo mode and it pulled us at a pretty decent rate, so that's kind of fun. Uh, the reason why I compare this to other ones is I've had other brands and we've had a lot of trouble with them. So the reliability and the durability on those were horrible and we had to send them back to the factory all the time. Even from flooding, you know, this one has a very unique feature. The battery compartment literally is not, doesn't need to be waterproof. When you put the battery inside this, the battery connects just on a small little square and it has an O-ring right there. Everything else is submerged underwater. So even the cooling of the battery is, you know, by the water. It's really good. Very simple to use. You can also hook a tether to this, to your BC if you want to, because if you've ever ran one of these, even on a higher level or higher speed, it'll surprise you that it will kind of fatigue the arms a little bit. It's almost like you're doing a little bit of a minor pull up because you're pulling against it to hold yourself. So you can tether this right to your BCD, adjust the, the length of the lanyard, and then when you hit the button, it pulls against the BCD and not against your arms the entire time. Uh, the battery lasts, I don't know officially, I'll get that in the review, but the battery that we've used in the past on normal, you know, lasted at least one hour for a dive. And you don't run them full bore all the time, so sometimes you slow, sometimes you hold still, you might park it. It has the ability to connect these little things. I think in the unboxing I called them torpedoes, but it has a GoPro mount right here so you can mount a GoPro. You can attach those little torpedoes and what they really are is just weights. And you can put one weight, two weights, or three weights to adjust the buoyancy of the uh, scooter. So without them, it's mildly buoyant, so if you let it go, it just starts to go slow, but you can adjust that. You can even make it heavier so you can park it on the bottom, if that suits your diving, okay? And, and now the GoPro mount, I don't use right there. I ordered the optional camera mount, which you're going to see when we release the review for this product. The camera mount is kind of wide, but it's awesome. It mounts physically to the scooter and then you can attach all kinds of stuff to it. I put my lights on it, I put the, you know, the floods, I put my camera in the middle, a GoPro on the top, or I can run it with just a GoPro, whatever you're going to use. I will say this, that I already know that because of the weight of this, and it's not that heavy. <clears throat> I think in the case and everything in your luggage, it's somewhere around 11 pounds. Um, I'll have to check that. <laughs> Okay, but underwater it weighs nothing. 
and it's very it off, offers a lot of stability to your photography because it's not just holding a camera where it's going to move you've got this feature so I, I like to pan use the camera on the front and then another feature when you're using a camera is it's very fluid the motion right when you're kicking your cameras you can see a little vibration in the cameras but when you're using this you're hitting the button it goes the one problem though is you can hear the motor in the background if you leave your sound on in your camera so this is the Subblue Navbo Discovery Video. We're going to do a review of it very shortly. My favorite one of all of them so far, and uh, we'll see it lives up to that. Make it a great day. You know, we don't get a chance to review every single product on the market like we'd like to, a full-blown review. So we do these discovery videos so that we can bring you the latest and the greatest and all the new stuff. If we've helped you in some way or if you enjoy these, if you'll hit the like button for us, that would help us. And if you hit the subscribe button, you'll know when the next one comes out. Make it a great day.